On paper, the Blues and I have nothing in common. Slightly different backgrounds. But that leaves out the magic, the mojo, whatever that thing is that makes blues songs express our feelings often better than we can. Here's an example. There are dozens of blues tunes talking about my baby caught the midnight train and now she's gone. Well, I never had a baby that caught a midnight train, but I did have a girlfriend who booked on me in the middle of the night in a car I bought her while I was at work, skipping out on the lease we had co-signed. So in that moment, me and Lead Belly and Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters and Big Bill Brunzi were probably all yelling the same thing up at the night sky. That bitch can kiss my ass. This story may or may not be true. This is a cabin near Combs, Mississippi. It used to be part of a cluster of slave quarters on the east side of Stanton Forks Plantation. In the 1920s, the Stanton family sold this land to the Gulf Coast Citrus Co-op. Now it's thousands of square acres of nothing but fruit trees. Lately, almost every night, barring any chores that had to be finished after supper, or a hurricane blown in off the Gulf, you'll see Clarence Buchanan right here, playing his Gretsch Honey Dipper guitar. Everybody calls Clarence Clarence, even his grandchildren, not Grandpa, Clarence. After the meal gets read up, Clarence pulls the rocking chair out of the kitchen and sets up shop. For 50 years, he was self-employed, fixing the grove equipment around here. These are big tractor-type machines. They shake the canopy of the orange tree, they knock the fruit off, then they rake it up. Two things show a man's age, his shoes and his hands. Hands tell the truth. Twisting a wrench for 50 years, made the vein on the back of his right hand raise up like a garter snake crawling below a thin tarp. That's his picking hand. Left hand ain't no joke either, especially that fourth finger. It's like a fireplace poker. Clarence can play bottleneck slide without the bottleneck, making that unmistakable sound, like a rusty nail across barbed wire. His songs aren't his, mostly, but he makes them sound like they are. And this scene still plays out every night all over the South, anywhere there's choking heat, air sticky enough to wring out like a sponge, and a couple of tall magnolias standing nearby. Born out of the sweat and threat of slavery, out of the call and response of the Southern Black Church, out of knowing that from the minute you're born, you are playing against a stacked deck. Out of moaning voices rising up from cotton rows, out of broken hearts and bleeding fingers, singing to make the pain of the sun and the work go away, raising the question that has yet to be answered, why would God put me on this earth only to treat me this way?